Welcome to the second lesson on logarithms. We're going to look at some properties of logs that we often encounter in calculus. Last time, we saw that these two equations mean the same thing. In this lesson, we will derive four useful properties from them. Here's a copy of the exponential equation. We're going to erase that p. How? By putting the log in there. There it is. Let's think what this is telling us. If we see a base b raised to a log base b, they undo each other. Wow, magic. Let's do the same with the log equation on the top. By substituting the n with b to the p, we see that the log base b and exponential base b, in that order, also undo each other. Poof! Now they're back. The next two properties are obvious, but often used. b to the first power is b. We knew that already. Next, because b to the zero power is 1, log 1 is always 0. Are we ready for a few examples? Here they are. Do these look scary? Perhaps, but they're really easy. First one, log base 7 of a base 7. They undo each other and leave a 5. Next one. 7 with an exponent log base 7. They undo each other and leave the number 2 pi. Third one. 10 raised to a log base what? 10, right. They undo each other, leaving the number 81. Next one. This is log base b of b. It equals 1. Last one. Log of 1 is always 0. There, all done. The next two lessons will be on the laws of logarithms. Here's a preview. Hope you had fun. Bye.